We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikings, it's Savannah. And I'm Madison, and you're watching SVTV. Madison, can you believe that the election is tomorrow? I cannot believe the election is tomorrow. Do you know how to vote? Sadly, I'm too young to vote, but Aiden Iman has a story on how to. As most of you know, the presidential election is coming up, and with a lot of newly eligible voters, we thought it'd be a good idea to inform you on the ways you can vote. So that depends on how you choose to vote. So there's multiple options on doing that. Uh, one of them is a mail-in ballot. Uh, that application deadline is over, so unless you've already applied for that, you won't be able to mail in vote, but for those of you who did, uh, the recommendation I have is make sure you follow all your directions exactly to the T because if you do not, your ballot might not get counted. Uh, the second option is early voting at the Shawnee County Election Office, which is located in South Topeka. It is by the old Carlos O'Kelly's, uh, kind of on 37th and Topeka Boulevard. Uh, it's in between Topeka Boulevard and Kansas. Uh, if you go there, uh, you can early vote any time before the election, which I think is pretty convenient, any time that you have some time. And then the last way that you can vote is on election day at your designated precinct. Uh, you will get a little postcard in the mail that will tell you uh, where that specifically is, or you can go to ksvotes.org to find that information also. As you can see, there are many different ways you can vote, and there's no reason not to give your opinion on what you want your country to be. Don't forget to vote on November 3rd. Vice, if you have not already voted, make sure to vote tomorrow. Tomorrow is your last day. Now here are your upcoming events. Thanksgiving, Christmas, and final schedules are now updated on Schoology. Picture retakes will be November 3rd and November 6th in the South Entry from 7 to 2. Key Club members will be having a meeting tomorrow morning at 7.25 a.m. in the library. If you're at home, use the Google Meet link on the Schoology page. Volunteers are needed in the Harvester's distribution. For more information, check Schoology. Student par students' parent-teacher conferences are November 11th and November 8th, 18th. Sign up on PowerSchool now. Now let's head over to sports to learn more about the new athletic director. Mr. Steve Bushnell has been a teacher and coach in our district for decades, but this year decided to take on the role of athletic director. And then when the position opened up a year ago, I, I never really considered myself, um, you know, to be a candidate to go into administration, but uh, just kind of as I thought about it and, and made the decision to ultimately apply and interview for the position, uh, I just thought it would, it would be a good situation, so. Although he has been a coach for years, he is now in charge of much more than just the baseball team. Overseeing um, 21 different sport programs and 66, co 66 coaches that we have here on staff at Seaman High School, uh, in addition to a lot of the other uh, administrative uh, responsibilities that I would have on a daily basis. This year, however, there are many new challenges added to his job. Our protocols and our reduction in, in spectators being able to attend sporting events uh, with our limitations of, uh, you know, 500 people that can attend our football games and, and, and having to wear masks and social distance and turning people away has ultimately been the hardest part. Despite his new and exciting role, there is one key thing that he misses from years past. Not having the, um, the daily interaction with students, um, a lot of times, um, you know, you get, you get stuck in your office, you get put behind a desk or at a monitor and you're answering phone calls and emails, and so you, you lose a lot of that one-on-one that -on -one interaction, which has always been, um, you know, a part of it that I've really enjoyed. We wish Bushnell the very best in what is to come. It's just a, a different role and, and some different challenges, but one that I'm excited about. 
Winter sports begin Monday, November 16th. You must have a physical and concussion form on file prior to tryouts. Stop by the athletic window to pick up a packet. Bushnell recently has taken over the position of athletic director this school year. Bushnell is excited about his new position and cannot wait to see what the rest of the school year brings him. Any boys still interested in swim need to come to see Ms. Mr. Tuck in room 911 if you're unable to attend the meeting. Congratulations to sophomore Bethany Drews on her ninth place finish at the State Cross Country Championship on Saturday. That's all we have for sports. Now over to weather with Zoe. Good afternoon, Vikings. We did experience quite chilly weather yesterday, but all the cold temperatures have completely moved out of the area for this week. As you can see, by the time we get out of school today, our temperatures are going to be in, up in the higher 60s, almost touching the 70s. For your SVTV seven day forecast, as I said earlier this week, we are going to be experiencing very, very warm temperatures with this starting to feel more like fall instead of winter. Now back to your anchor. Thank you, Zoe, for the update. That's all we have for you today, Vikings. Have a great day, Vikes.